Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is James, here today with your daily GTA 5 tips, news, info, and more. And today we're going to be talking about how to play as your multiplayer character in single player with multiplayer friends. This is a pretty cool glitch, and the cool thing about it is you can actually play with friends. Your friends can see you, you can drive around and have some fun with friends. But you'll also be able to go to places and get access to places you can only go in single player, such as Michael's house, Trevor's house. That can automatically open up, you can go through all those doors when your friends will not be able to. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, and without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have no vehicles out whatsoever. Once that's done, you're going to want to call up your mechanic and order a vehicle that you're okay with losing. You're going to be losing this vehicle, essentially trashing it. So if you have like a free vehicle in your garage, you can order that. But order the mechanic to bring you the vehicle. Once the mechanic brings you the vehicle, we should leave the door open. If he doesn't, you can open it like I did and quickly sprint to cancel the action instead of you getting in the car. But once the door is open, you're going to want to walk up to the corner of the door. Then simply open up your phone and head over to anywhere online. I use the Southern San Andreas Autos website and order a free car and have that car replace the car that the mechanic just drove you. So I'm going to have this van replace the Sultan that the mechanic just delivered me. Once that's done, simply get in your Sultan and drive off a little bit. Once you're away from the area, get in any random car and then you're going to have to drive for some time. You're going to end up calling the mechanic again, but it may take a little bit of time for the mechanic to reset, like four minutes. So just drive around, get away from that car with the new car that you're driving. And once you're all the way away from that car, the next step is pretty easy. You're going to want to open up your phone and call your mechanic again, and this time, order the most recent car you bought, the van, as it is for me that I used to replace the Sultan. Order that van, and once you order it, it should now kick you out of the car that you're in. You'll be on the road, and now you are in single player. The game at least thinks you're in single player. You can drive around, you'll notice there'll be no icons on your map like there is in multiplayer. And uh, that's pretty much it. You can drive around. Your friends will still be able to see you, though. And as you see right here, simply just rolling up into Michael's house. The garage opens for me. I can walk all around the house. There's no glitches or anything to get in. And that's really about it. It's a fun way to get in. And uh, you can do some cool stuff, open some doors, and access some places that you normally can't in multiplayer. And definitely wow your friends. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to support it by leaving a like. Definitely helps me out and helps me grow my channel. Also, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for some more awesome daily GTA 5 content. And last but not least, make sure to follow my Twitter and like my Facebook to stay up to date. That's about it, and have a great day. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're...